Human ear is a sure four mark question and drawing is very very easy. You should be able to label the parts and while labeling you should also know the function of the parts. Okay. Let us see how we can draw this. Okay. First you draw the pinna. This is the one which collects the sound waves from outside. Right. Make a small curve here like this. Draw an S shaped line here. The pinna is collecting the sound waves. Okay, and then it goes into the auditory canal. Next you draw the auditory canal. That is a curve like this and then from here a little bit of bend and like this okay now auditory canal is preventing the outside dust from getting inside and there are hair in that which helps to collect the dust that's how the wax is formed in the ear next we will draw the very important part of the ear which is called the tympanum. It can be also called as eardrum. Just like a, a mirror. The sound waves are coming in hitting the tympanum and make it vibrate. Okay. The next part is the middle ear which consists of three different bones. The first bone is called as the malleus just in the form of a hammer. Okay, just do a little bit of bend here and then like this. Okay. The second bone is called a ringus. Just draw it in this shape opposite that of this. Okay. A little bit of bend here. And the third small bone is stepis or stirrup because it it is in the form of a stirrup. This is the shape. Now the uh, vibration gets transferred from one to the other and the whole thing vibrates. Okay. From here to here it is called the middle ear portion. Okay. Just act extend this line here up to this. The inner ear is called as utriculus, which is consisting of three semilinear canals. Just like that, you draw this two lines here, like this. Now from this portion you get the cochlea, okay, draw a proportionate circular figure like this as cochlea, okay, just give it a turn like this, okay. Maybe from here you just draw this like this. Okay. This point on it, the auditory nerves are coming out. Okay. So you can draw a bunch of them here like this. A thick line here.
these auditory nerves are connected to this cochlea right this tube which maintains the pressure in the ear okay is called as the eustachian tube just take a bend like this okay this is the eustachian tube shed the whole thing a little bit very lightly this will all be the hair in the auditory canal which is preventing the external dust from and the organisms getting in entire canal you have to just shade it you must shade all these things so it looks nice so you will get full marks all these bones here just darken this also label the parts now pin now this is the auditory canal this is the eardrum eustachian tube note the spelling these three bones you need to name this is the malleus of the hammer bone second one is incus third one is stapes remember the other names also for this these are the semilunar canals right these are the auditory nerves finally the cochlea note the spelling here c o c h l e a okay you can practice this figure a couple of times so that you don't go wrong and uh, should remember how to name the parts also and remember all the functions of each of the part separately okay figure looks somewhat like this i shaded uh, the auditory canal the middle ear cochlea and the eustachian tube if you have the time in the end you can uh, do it otherwise just draw the hair in this area that's uh, enough okay then have good practice